Science Comics, the digestive system, a tour through your gut. Oh, hello, you must be here for the tour. Well, friend, I am honored to welcome you to the lively and thriving community known as the mouth, also known as the oral cavity. The inside of your mouth is home to 50 and 100 billion bacteria. You're lucky you found me first because there are about 200 species of bacteria living here at any given time, and some of them are impolite. Ugh, who invited the noob? Just ignore them for now. My name's E, and I'm happy to guide you around. You may be surprised to learn that the mouth is not just a booming microbiome metropolis. It also houses sensitive and powerful organs that are used for digestion. Digestion is the process of taking complex food and breaking it down into basic forms. I'm Tilly Mon. You see, all living things need uh, energy to grow and move. That, in that includes uh, the plants and animals that humans use for food. Food is a mixture of chemical substance called nutrients. Through physical and chemical means, uh, digestion lose it, loosens and separates the nutrient molecules so they can be absorbed by your bo body cells. Farewell, fruct to uh, never for, forget what we had. Metabolism is the process of transforming food into energy and making, I mean, and using that energy to grow and sustain life. Oh, uh, hang on just a second. Ugh, sorry, this happens from time to time. Hi, welcome to the mouth. I already told them that. Oh, where did you leave off? I'm just telling them about nutrients. Right, nutrients. You can tell them about the different types of, there are two types of nutrients, macronutrients and micronutrients. Macronutrients are needed every day in the large amounts. Wow, you got, you got that text to appear super fast. Carbohydrates, also known as sugars, provide the body with fuel. Fill her up with glucose today. Single or double molecules are carbohydrates are called simple sugars glucose. A simple sugar found in all fruits and vegetables is the most essential source of energy in the body. It's all I ever order. More than three sugar molecules in a chain are called complex carbohydrates and no longer taste sweet. Bringing them back down releases all the Simple sugar molecules that have been bound together. You're not that complex, Br Bradley. Plants make starches to store energy that they don't need right away. They can also use glucose to make fiber. Fiber is a complex carbohydrate that supports their leaves and stems. Got another batch of kilos. I don't know what that word is, sorry. For those cell walls, like complex carbo carbohydrates, proteins of chains in smaller of smaller units. Twenty types of uh, amino acids can be re combined to make different proteins. Nine of them can be converted into the other eleven. But those nine essential amino acids must be supplied by food directly. There are a few complete proteins, which all have the essential amino acids. Check it, peanut butter. I got the whole set. Well, what if wheat toast was with me? We'd be rocking it. While carbo carbohydrates provide energy for your cells, proteins are their building mi minerals. Protein is needed to develop and man maintain your muscles, organs, bone, blood, and bones. Proteins called en enzymes, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry, carry out uh, all chemical reactions, and they 
builds all other molecules, including the those complex carbohydrates and even other proteins. You want a heart? We can build you a heart. Lipids uh, such as fats are found in food like meat, oil, nuts, and eggs. They can be used to protect your organs like hormones and code outside of your nerves, neuron, nerve cell. Most of the lipids found in food are triglycerides, or whatever that word is, which provide energy to muscle cells at rest. When your body has extra energy, it makes its own triglycerides, I don't know how to pronounce that word, to store it and in and to protect organs. Your coat looks so warm and protected, Cynthia. It's 100% triglyceride. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Other group of fats called pho phospholipids make up the structure of every cell membrane in your body. Their head is drawn up water while their two tails are attracted to fat. This helps shuttle other lipids up out of your watery cells. Tail, head, phospholipid layer, head, cholesterol. Lipids in the form of cholesterol act as buffer, both spacing out the phospholipids to let substance through while also preventing too large of a gap from forming between them. Fakes for nothing, big up guy. Get lost, bacteria. The human body has also needs minerals, unlike other nutrients. Minerals aren't manufactured by any living things. They are elements that come from the earth. The five minerals that we are needed in large amounts do a lot of different things. Here are some functions that they help with. Calcium strengthens bones and teeth. Magnesium used in bone form, formation, muscle, and nerve function, immune system. Phosphorus assists in protein production and energy shortage. Pot potassium supports nerve function and nerve contraction. So sodium regulates uh, nerves and muscles. Micronutrients are needed in small amounts. They include they include trace uh, minerals like iron and zinc, as well as vitamins. Vitamins are needed for the chemical reactions that come from food as to energy. Some uh, vitamins are water so soluble, which means they.